Scattered Spider, a decentralized cyber criminal collective that have been highly active since 2022, now are being linked to attacks on financial institutions, casino operators, and they're really going up in the world and they're looking for bigger payouts. How can we defend against this? Phishing is a central pillar to their arsenal. Take away their ability to easily leverage user error or SIM swapping. Disable SMS and phone-based MFA methods, effectively making you immune to SIM swapping attacks. I also recommend disabling email-based one-time passwords, as this can be leveraged to gain onwards authentication from an already compromised device. Once you've done that, let's look about taking things a step further. With an intro, there's this concept of phishing-resistant MFA. It's also a wider concept, the idea being is that an end user can't accidentally give them the MFA code. So it's resistant to phishing in that sense. In Entra, you've got three different options for this. You've got Windows Hello for Business, you've got FIDO2-based pass keys, and you've got certificate-based authentication. Out of these three, Windows Hello for Business and pass keys are really simple to implement. In fact, you probably already have Windows Hello for Business enabled and usable as an authentication method from Intune and Entra enrolled devices. Pass keys, they're different to Windows Hello for Business. They can be hardware or software-based, so we're talking about uh, Microsoft Authenticator or a password manager like a 1Password or a Bitwarden or hardware-based. For Microsoft Authenticator specifically, you literally open up your Microsoft Authenticator app and providing that the organization has them enabled as an authentication method, you go create a passkey, then you go log in, creates a passkey for you. It's dead simple. Certificate authentication is the third option. It takes quite a bit of setup. You have to basically have a certificate uh, installed via Intune or, or manually on all of the devices. So it's not great for BYOD. And we tend to lean away from cert auth in favor of the other two options because they're just as strong and they're easier to manage and maintain. And with security, ease of management, ease of maintenance is important because you need to stay on top of this going forwards, right?